working as a miner. Ah, I started at New Colliery in 1946. I was, I was 14 years old. Which, which mine did you work in? I worked in the number four mine at New Colliery and that, that shaft passed every coal seam to get to the early mine, the early seam. And that was the deepest they went for coal. They didn't go any deeper than the early mine. How long did you work in the mine? I worked in the mine from, uh, I was there from 1946 till 1968, when they were starting to close the mines. I left in 1968. What was a normal day like in a mine? What was it like? Well, it was good really. I was very short-sighted, so it, it did suit me. Because it was like being, you know, like in, a, in the front room. You can, there was just the two walls, to look, the, the, the four walls to look at. So you didn't have to look a long distance. So it, that suited me. What did you wear? What did you wear? Did you wear? Well, when you was working, you had just a pair of shorts and boots. It was that hot. It was that hot, that warm. That shorts and boots, you know. Did you work? Well, as a collier, you worked on your own, but there was a line of colliers, and the distance they worked was like, again, like uh, you know, a terraced house living room wall, like, like the length of the, of the front room. That was what you had, you had to shift that much coal. Four foot high, four foot deep into the coal, and you know, twelve feet in length of your breadth. And then there was another collier at the other side of you. When did you start working as a miner? When did I start? Well, my family tree goes back to 1620, what I've, what I've chased back. I am the last coal miner in my family. So from the minute I was born, I was born to be a miner. How old were you when you started mining? When I was growing up, when I was your age, my dad, I used to hear him say, that lad of mine will never work in a coal mine. Mm -hmm. And I didn't know what a coal mine was. But <laughs> I from St. Helens, we had big employers in our town called Pilkington's Glass, Raven Egg Glass, big, big employers, five coal mines. And when I got older, or middle-aged, I realised why my dad didn't want me to go underground. Both my grandfathers killed as miners. One was a miner and he volunteered to become the St. Helens Pals in the First World War as a tunneler and we never, we've never never seen again. My second grandfather, a piece of coal seven feet long and three foot six fell and broke his back. And he died two weeks later with his injuries. So I understand why my dad didn't want me to to work at least you didn't. But I stayed in a coal mine because when I was 18, I was a bit of a rebel and I stayed <laughs> in a trade union. <laughs> Which mine did you work in? I worked at Bull Colliery, 
and the Sintalians. I wrote down Colburn Calore. I wrote down Pickish Calore. I wrote down Parsonage Calore. <laughs> and I worked in the gold mines and diamond mines in South Africa. Wow! South Africa! How long did you work in the for? I did 20, 24 years on the ground and one year on strike. <laughs> what was a normal day in the mine for you? What was a normal day in the mine? A normal day in the mine was getting up half past four in the morning. <laughs> Making my way to a lamp room like this. <laughs> Getting my lamp, being searched for cigarettes or silver fare or newspaper. Then I'd go to the cage, I'd step in that cage, and that cage would fall off 45 feet a second. Because your car it was five and a half thousand feet deep. <laughs> it would fall at 45 feet, like I said, 45 feet a second, that cage would fall. I'd get to my workplace in about an hour and a half. And then I'd strip off with no clothes on whatsoever because it was 145 degrees. It was so hot, it was unbelievable. What did you eat in the mines? Well, what did I eat in the mines? I used to take four frozen grapefruits. My mate had take four frozen jaffers and it was in a team of four, so we had four of everything. Because we four was working in a tunnel, in a, in a space underground, as wide as this, because we were driving tunnels further and further in, but it was so hot, it was so hot, it was unbelievable. Now when I wrote down the uh, bowl calorie, it was not as hot as Bickershire, but what happened was, it, I used to take fruit there, because there were thousands of mice, thousands of mice running everywhere. So, if you left your sandwiches in your pocket, mice would go in and it would fall right through the middle of your bread. Now, if they had a yeah. car off there, like that, you could rip it off and still eat it. If you didn't, it was fall right through the middle of your bread like that. So, what you have to do, you have to hang your sandwiches up in the rings. <laughs> mice won't eat it. <laughs> That's what you did. That's it. And for eight yeah, hours a day, people. for eight hours a day, that is what you'd be like. That was your bed, that was your canteen, that was your toilet, because there's no toilets on the ground. There's no sunlight, and there's no daylight, there's no rain, nothing whatsoever. There's total darkness. Why did you, were you ever scared? I went to my dad on the Sunday night, because dad, I've said it's a new job in morning, so why were you in? I said, I'm going to a pit. He shouted that loud, the roof came off. <laughs> and he stood up and he said, You won't last five minutes underground. You're not built to be a miner. I tell you. For the first two years, I wasn't scared of me. I was petrified. <laughs> but I could eat my dad. And I wouldn't let him eat me. <laughs> what did you wear in mind? And I would go like that, with nothing at all on whatsoever. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> no, I didn't have to. Nothing. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> that is so disgusting. <laughs> Nothing at all. It was so hot. But oh, you yeah. must have learned with the And what it was, we're all men. So we didn't, we didn't matter. It was like that. And it was so dark too, so. Because you get a bath like that. Because you're that black, you couldn't wash yourself, so your mate used to wash you down. Yeah. Who worked with you in mine? We, we were all brothers. Every one of us. I worked with brothers. Everybody who went underground, stepped in that cage. We are brothers. We are brothers because I sure what I've got with you and I sure what I've got with you. You were sure for me. I need him to look after my back in case nothing at all get that I can't get hurt. And he needs me to look after him. And the same as you would hold somebody's hand across the road, I relied on all my friends. We were all brothers. <laughs>